Hey guys, welcome to New York Cooking. One of the most popular videos of all time in the history of New York Cooking is the steamed fish video. If you have not checked that out, click the link in the description box below because that is one of the simplest recipe that I could recommend for you to try and it's also very delicious and healthy. Now steam fish is so popular but there are actually so many variations of steam fish. So today I am going to show you how to prepare steam fish with fermented bean paste. It is slightly spicy, it's salty, it's really very uh, delicious because um, the taste of the fermented bean paste or uh, sauce would be so appetizing. So let's look at the ingredients that we will need. First of all, you need to get hold of fresh fish. So here I have sea bass, you can use any types of white fish. Now let's move on to the rest of the ingredients. We need a bit of chilli, fermented bean paste, garlic, shallots, and then soy sauce, oyster sauce, ginger, I've minced them, these are sliced ginger and to garnish this dish, I'm using some scallions. For the chilli, I've minced them and then pounded them. You can just mince them, you do not need to pound them, it's really up to you. I like things really fine. Um, and then uh, the pounded garlic would be used in the sauce as well, whereas the sliced chilli, we're going to steam this fish first together with it. Before we begin cooking, I've already have a wok here with a bit of water and boiling it. So it's going to be boiled. Um, then we're going to prepare the sauce for the fish now. So let's move on to preparing the sauce. So make sure the pan is really hot, however it you can feel the heat. And then we're going to add oil. Now let's add the pounded chilies and then garlic, salad. And ginger. Now this should be done at medium heat. You don't want the pan to be too hot or else it will burn the ingredients. Now we are going to add this um, fermented bean paste. So oyster sauce. then soy sauce. Now because we have soy sauce and then oyster sauce and also fermented bean paste, this dish may be a bit too salty. So I like to add a bit of sugar just to balance the dish, uh, the taste of the dish. So I bet, um, just about one teaspoon of sugar and that will do. Alright, now this dish is almost done because once the sauce is ready, as you can see, this is how it looks like. I'm going to leave it aside and then uh, we are going to steam the fish, alright? We're first going to steam this fish for about 6 minutes and then after that, I'm going to put the sauce over and then continue steaming the fish for another 6 minutes. It's not going to need more than that. I've butterflied the fish as you can see or as we call it, kite the fish. Um, and this will actually help uh, in the steaming process, it will be quicker. So over here, if you realise I took the knife and then just, you know, slice a bit of lines, you know, that allows the fish to cook a little faster then. I'm going to place a bit of ginger slices over it, just so, you know, it doesn't get too fishy. And that's what I really dislike about fishes and that's why you need to get fresh fishes. So, now that the wok is ready, the water needs to be really boiling and then we're going to place this in. Uh, you can use any pan that you like or plates if you want to. I use this Pyrex pan or plate as you call it. Just steam this for 6 minutes, we'll get back to it. It's already 6 minutes, we're going to check on the fish. Okay, almost done, almost there. Now we have to first remove the ginger slices. Then, we're going to place this sauce that we prepared earlier. It is really that's all and uh, we're going to steam this for another 
6 minutes and then we can dish it out and I'm going to show you how delicious this dish can be. In total, it has been about 12 minutes. That means it's ready. I'm going to switch the stove off. Then let's check on the fish. It's really, really, really heavy. Ooh. Now, it really doesn't look like the prettiest dish that you have ever seen. And if you want it to look slightly better, then uh, you can also serve it in filet and then, you know, put the sauce on top uh, so that some people are actually turned off by seeing the whole fish. But it's really your own, up to you, your own preference. I like it like this. And then we we'll sprinkle a bit of spring onions all over. This is how it looks like. It's really very delicious, best eaten when it's extremely hot. That means right now. But I'm going to show you how it tastes like. Of course, I must always do the taste test for you, right? The flesh was just so soft and it came off so easily. And then a bit of sauce, some scallion. This is extremely delicious. So, so appetizing. It's slightly spicy and then of course salty as I told you because we use this fermented bean paste. So delicious. Now because we have to eat this immediately, that means the moment this video finishes, I have to immediately dig in with a bit of white rice, my favorite. So I hope you enjoyed this video and also this recipe as usual. The full recipe will be on yoyacooking.com. Once you have tried this recipe or this dish or also other recipes there, take photos, send me um, these photos through the website because then it will help to inspire others to cook and also make me really, really happy. So give this video a thumbs up while you're here and subscribe to Nyonya Cooking to get more videos like this or even subscribe to our newsletter and then we will send the recipes to you directly in your inbox. Till then, I hope, you, uh, I hope to see you again. Happy cooking! Oh, 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 oh,